largely, I think uh, everything that everything that needed to be said by this team has been said by the speakers who have read our our statement. We will make uh, the statement available to members of the media. And the statement we have made here, we have made the statement in very good faith because this is our country. We are leaders in this country and we must provide leadership as we engage with other leaders in the exercise of building consensus so that we can avoid an unnecessary divisive contest. In a nutshell, let me say that uh, we appreciate the challenges this process has gone through. We appreciate that there has been a lot of push and pull. Many of uh, the members of this team have been victimized for holding different opinions from those of others. We believe and we ask that we want to walk together this journey. We are not making any demands of anybody. We are putting our case. And we believe that we have a very strong case. The same way, in BOMAS, there were proposals that had been put on the table. This team, the church, the Muslim community, pastoralists, members of county assemblies, council of governors, and a host of other stakeholders took, made their contributions to what was presented in BOMAS. Those proposals were taken on board. A majority of those proposals were taken on board, as has been uh, stated here by members of this team. We appreciate that the IEBC will not be politicized and they can be an independent institution to run our elections independent of political parties. We also appreciate that the independence of the police has been captured and secured. We have stated categorically and respectfully that it is never too late to do the right thing. We believe that there are a couple of outstanding issues. The judiciary is still uncomfortable, for example, with the judiciary ombudsman and the manner in which it is appointed. We all agree that accountability is central to the performance of any arm of government, including the judiciary. And we are making proposal here that it is possible for us to agree that the, um, an ombudsman be appointed in a manner that is acceptable to the judiciary, either proposed by the JSC or appointed by the Chief Justice and vetted by Parliament so that we have checks and balances. We are also saying uh, because we are, we are making that proposal because we are sensitive to the centrality of independence of the judiciary. We do not want to send any signal that we want to compromise the independence of the judiciary. Yet, we must hold the judiciary to account. So we must balance between those two rights. Validation, as it was called, to BOMAS II. The subsequent, again, changes that have been made that resulted in the document in KICC. We have had very frank, candid, robust engagement 
uh, with the members of parliament and other leaders present here. We did request some of our governors to, to be present, and we have seven governors here who are present. We did also request some of political leaders in Kenya uh, to be present. Uh, in our midst, we have the former chairman of the constitution implementation that was in the first constitution. The Honorable Charles Nyachai was here, and we have benefited greatly from his wisdom and insights. We have also, uh, we did also invite the former senator of uh, Bungoma and the former senator of Machakos. Oh, sorry, Kakamega, sorry. And the former senator of Machakos and also the former senator of Mombasa. We also did invite uh, a former CS, uh, Mwangi Kiunjuri, who is also in our midst. And we have had very robust, I say, as Kenyans. Um, we have a statement that we are going to make. Uh, we are, I, am, I am acutely aware that many people want us uh, to take a position on this document. And I want to tell you uh, the, the point at which uh, where we are now is a point that requires a lot of thinking, a lot of reflection, a lot of consultation, and uh, that is what we were doing, so that we can be able to engage with the rest of the process in a way that is informed, that is consultative, that is participatory, and that gives every idea and every opinion a chance at least to be heard, if not for any other reason. So uh, we are going to proceed. Um, a statement is being uh, concluded. I don't know whether somebody... There is some gentleman who is not doing his work somewhere. So anyway, he's, he's finalizing the statement. We are going to release uh, that statement uh, now. Then I am going to, uh, we are going to read the statement by various uh, leaders here. And then I will make some concluding remarks. And then we will take a question or two. I hope you guys are happy with that. <laughs> 